the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the company's Z Flip 3 are now available for pre-order and a lot of people are finally getting their hands on the device. A lot of people are excited about the flip technology and the folding technology as Samsung has matured. So, so I, I wanted, wanted to give everybody a heads up on this piece of news that I read about this morning. I do a lot of videos on how to unlock the bootloader for Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So I think some readers here may be in the market for one of these flip phones. And I want to give you a heads up that if you unlock the bootloader for the Z Fold 3 at this time, be sure to read the bootloader unlock warning screen because there is a little piece right here that warns you if you unlock the bootloader, you will not be able to use the camera on the device. Now, removing some functionality from Samsung devices after you unlock the bootloader is common. We already lose access to Samsung Pay, Samsung Secure Folder, as well as some other features because of Knox being tripped. But losing complete access to the cameras to me is a bit too far so if you unlock the bootloader for the new z fold 3 or the z flip 3 then you're likely going to lose access to your cameras meaning if you try to launch either the camera for the back of the phone or the front of the phone you're going to be met with this camera failed message it doesn't matter if you're trying to use the stock camera or a third party camera from the Play Store. As of right now, the cameras are not accessible after you unlock the bootloader. You can't even register a face with the phone's face unlock feature. Again, because access to the camera is completely shut off. We've seen other OEMs in the past limit camera functionality if you unlock the bootloader. Sony used to cripple their camera quality if you unlock the bootloader on some of their older phones. It's changed a little bit as of late, but at least with those phones you had access to the camera. You could use a third party camera to negate the loss in quality but if you are going to get the Galaxy Z Flip 3 or the Galaxy Z Fold 3, know that you are not going to be able to use the camera if you unlock the bootloader. Now there is a workaround if you have already unlocked the bootloader and you find that you are getting this camera failed message on your Galaxy Z Flip 3 or Galaxy Z Fold 3, then you can go and relock the bootloader to gain access to the camera again. It's not like Sony where it was just deleting those DRM keys and you would not be able to get it back. If you relock the bootloader on these two foldable phones, you will have access to the camera again. With that said, Things are very early right now. These phones aren't even officially released to the public. It's just available for pre-order. Reviewers and some enthusiasts are able to get them a bit, little bit early. So as more developers have time with this, we could see a Magisk module or even the Magisk application itself fix whatever issue is causing this. Meaning that once we have root access, even though the bootloader is un unlocked and the camera is not accessible, it's possible in the future a module or a mod comes out that will let us to bypass this restriction. However, as of right now, neither Magisk is capable of doing this and a mod is not capable. If this changes, be sure to check the comment section below as I'll be pinning a comment to keep this topic updated. Because again, I imagine there's going to be a module released very quickly that fixes this. 
and that restores access to both cameras.